Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. This video, I'm going to unbox 16 CPU mining rigs. Well, they're just motherboard CPU and RAM combos, which I bought off Mr. Chump Change XD and also Retro Mike Tech. Thank you, both of you gentlemen, for shipping me the CPU mining rigs here. Hopefully they work. Over the next, I don't know, week or two here, I am going to be live streaming on setting up the CPU mining rigs and I'm probably gonna have multiple live streams of setting them up, testing them, all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for that. I also just got in a bunch of Thermal Right, uh, Thermal Right, yeah, Assassin X120 CPU heat sinks. And uh, I think I bought 16 in total. And so hopefully these should be okay to cool the CPUs, which I'm gonna be using a bunch of 3D printed motherboard stands I have from Mr. Chump Change XD and also Mr. Bokiko and also Cloud Based Me, who they just shipped me a bunch of their 3D printed motherboard stands, which I actually have one running right here, right now. You guys can see this. I built this in a live stream. This is the Ryzen 1700X that's CPU mining right now. Works great, I love it. Okay, let's do a just a quick unboxing of all this stuff. And so before I do that, thank you for today's video sponsor. You know quantum computers. You know blockchain, but do you know both together? Dynex was the first platform to create a neuromorphic supercomputing blockchain-based algorithm which solves real-world problems. And the best part? Anyone can post a job, whether a company from the Global 2000, a machine learning job, or fintech and pharmaceutical. And if you don't want to program it yourself, Get an expert directly at the marketplace. Run the job and be impressed by the fast result. Okay, jump change. Let's open up his box first. All right, so first thing I see. What the hell, man? What the hell? I love it. I love it. I love it, I love it. Thank you, Jump Change. And you also sent me a, and what car is this? Ah, it's a Bugatti. Nice, okay, Jump Change, thank you, man, thank you. Okay, now, I'm guessing, okay, you know what? I'm gonna just place all this onto a table, as well as uh, retro mics as well, just to save you guys some time. Jump Change. I am not, I repeat, I am not gonna eat this. The world's hottest gummy bear. Are you kidding me? This thing's gonna, this thing's gonna destroy me, man. Maybe I'll do it in a live stream. If you guys want me to, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, I unboxed everything here and man, this is, this is just crazy. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting kind of anxiety of trying to think of setting this all up. It's gonna, it's gonna take me a while, but anyways, Chump Change sent me about, it was seven or eight different rigs here, okay? So I have five Ryzen 9 3900X CPU motherboard RAM combos, okay? There's another one here, 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 and here. Uh, different various motherboards, Asus ROG motherboards, and uh, some MATX uh, boards with 3900X, okay? Great CPU for mining. Now, we have another one here. It's a Ryzen 9 5900X. And then the last uh, CPU from his batch here is a Ryzen 5 2600X. All right, so you guys know this batch here. Now, Retro Mike Tech. I bought a bunch of his CPUs, and this is an i9-10850K. Okay, that's a, that's a pretty baller uh, CPU. I'm probably not going to be using this for CPU mining. I may build this into a, uh, like a PC, gaming PC or something. Then, we have a Ryzen 5 5500, okay, motherboard RAM CPU combo setup. Now, we have six 5950X setups here. So six 5950X CPU combos, five 3900X. Those two CPUs are normally pretty... I'd say prominent for CPU mining, so they should be pretty good. But uh, these four in the middle, 
I just have different ones. 5900X, that's probably really good, so I'm gonna have that for mining. The Ryzen 5 2600X, probably not, and also the Ryzen 5 5500 and the i9. I'm actually gonna be making these and probably into just extra computers. Not gonna really mine with these, so I'm probably just gonna have the 6 5950X and the 5 3900Xs for mining, plus the uh, Ryzen 9 5900X, okay? So uh, I'm gonna have 12 CPU mining rigs in total for mining, plus I uh, have two over there on my low power mining shelf there as well. Now, this is where I'm gonna gauge the community here. So Chum Change did send me all the stock heat sinks, okay, which I'm not gonna use. I did say I was gonna use these. Uh, thermal right which I bought on Amazon Black Friday for like $20 or less and I bought a whole bunch of them I have enough for the 12 rigs so actually the other rigs here I'll use or I could use the stock prism coolers which are they seem to be pretty pretty new I think chump change did not use these he was using uh, AIOs okay but I'm not using AIOs for CPU mining I don't think that's uh, needed anyway but what I wanted to ask you guys here okay two different things how am I going to lay out these CPU mining rigs. I'm gonna have them on like open frames or you know 3D printed motherboard stands like these. Thank you to Mr. Bokiko and Cloud Base Me for sending me these. Look at this. This looks so sick. Look at that. Cloudico.io. He's the mining pool operator for Varus and uh, I believe he has Lithium. Go check it out guys and as well as Chump Change. I have a few of his motherboard stands as well. Uh, go check out his store link on the screen here. And another thing is how am I going to power most of these CPU mining rigs. Like, am I gonna do ATX power supplies, or am I gonna do like HP server PSUs with like the breakout boards, like the ZSX Amp edition breakout boards? I don't know if, I don't think those are reliable, or am I going to use those parallel miner power supplies with the Pico, uh, like the six pin power Pico PSUs? So, I think there's a lot of different variations. I, I wanna have another video going into that a lot further, going into specific parts of how I should power, you know, these 5950Xs and these 3900X CPUs. Like, how am I going to power these rigs? Uh, give me some opinions down below, but I am gonna do a dedicated video in a computer dedicating that, have an Excel sheet. I'm gonna have a bunch of different parts. I'm gonna go through all that with you guys and get more opinions, cause you know, I wanna have a cost-effective way, but also a, re a reliable way to power these CPU mining rigs. This is just this is just crazy to look at. I'm already stressing over where the heck am I going to place these CPU mining rigs. So I did have another video where I explained where I roughly wanted to. Maybe I was going to set it on my uh, low power shelf here. I mean, I think there are a couple things here I could move around to make it fit, but I already have you know, another 5950X CPU here, uh, 1700X CPU already mining on the shelf here. So you can see generally, you know, how much space, you know, one of these takes with an ATX PSU. So, I mean, I could, I could probably fit another 12 on here somehow and a few at the top so i think that should be okay but i did want to have i did want to dedicate another shelf by itself and i was going to do that with my gpu mining rig shelf there and have another shelf beside it with all cpu mining rigs i did think of that as well but i think i'm probably going to go with this one here because this 30 amp 240 volt circuit i am not like at capacity at all that i still have a lot of headroom so with the CPUs, I mean, for mining, that should, I don't know, be under, I don't know, 2,000 watts. I should be able to add that uh, to that PDU, okay? So that, uh, you know what, I can see right now how much power is this PDU taking. Right now, this whole PDU is drawing 1840 watts. So I'm not at the 80% rule, which is about 5,700 watts. So I have still a lot of headroom, a lot of power that I could utilize on on this PDU even though I have like a bunch of things plugged in KS zeros phones and whatnot so yeah you know what I'm I think I'm gonna start setting them up here but I'm gonna do live streams okay a lot of live streams of setting up each of these CPU mining rigs and uh, I do want to test out a bunch of them and you know what retro mic I look I found this well, what's this this USB 3.0 is stuck in here must have been really stuck that it you pulled it off and it broke. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I don't think it matters. It does obviously doesn't matter because I'm I'm not gonna use it. But anyways, yeah, guys, this is uh, a lot of stuff here. I'm excited to uh, set up my CPU mining farm. Okay, I'll have ASICs. I got GPUs. Now I'm into the heavy uh, CPU mining game. So 
a lot to think about. Give me your guys' opinion. How should I like house these per se? How should I like maybe I should put them in like open airframes? You know, thinking maybe thinking future proofing as well, because I could put GPUs on each of these rigs and you know, do flux proof or use a work or something, or I don't know, vast.ai, no, maybe no, not vast.ai, maybe vast.ai, I don't know. You know, things can change, right? So with these, at least I could be very uh, versatile in a way which I could pivot into any different uh, type of mining or platform with these uh, Ryzen CPUs. So very versatile in a way. Okay, so yeah. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts. Chump change, thank you again, man, for doing this trade with me. I know it was a lot better for me and uh, a lot of people said I screwed you and you know what? I did, I did, I totally screwed you. So thank you for the gummy bear and also the rubber chicken and also the, I think a remote control car. My son will love it, man, thank you. As well as Retro Mike, Retro Mike Tech, man. Thank you for letting me purchase. I bought all his setups here for about 2,700 bucks. All right, so that was pretty good with including shipping. So yeah, Retro Mike, thank you for giving me a deal, man. Along with the CPUs, RAM and motherboard combos, really. So all I gotta do with the power supplies, uh, the CPU coolers and uh, a way I'm going to mount all the motherboards probably this way but you guys let me know down below let me know down below what you think and uh, how should I power them I'm gonna have another video about that all right I'll see you on the next video have a good one peace out hmm Oh god, oh too hot, too hot, too hot. Fuck. Oh, screw that.